We discussed a result, a theorem, in the last module which gives us the necessary and sufficient condition when we can have a mixed strategy equivalent of a behavioral strategy. And that uh, uh, theorem was, uh, was this one. Uh, so it, it says that uh, the behavioral strategy has an equivalent mixed strategy if and only if each information set for that player intersects with every path starting from the root. Uh, at most once. So you cannot have situations like where the same information set is intersecting with the same path multiple times as we have seen in that example which uh, uh, which uh, represented some amount of forgetfulness. Now in this module we are going to discuss the opposite that when can we have a behavioral strategy equivalent of a mixed strategy and we will finally see that will give a sufficient condition for that and that sufficient condition will also uh, subsume the uh, the condition uh, that we have given in this previous theorem uh, so therefore we can have an equivalence between mixed strategy and behavioral strategy so with those conditions that we are going to state uh, you can have a uh, behavioral strategy equivalent of mixed strategy as well as mixed strategy equivalence of a behavioral strategy so these two things will be one and the same so in order to define that, we'll have to somehow capture what is forgetfulness of a player. So we have seen a, a couple of uh, examples for forgetfulness of the player. One in which the player forgets whether it has played at all or not. And the, the other condition was uh, where the uh, other situation was where the player has uh, forgotten which action it has played. So we'll address uh, both, of, uh, both of this uh, forgetfulness one by one. But before that, we need to define something. We need to define what is a choice of uh, same action at an information set. As you can imagine, the, the name itself is uh, quite uh, explicit in, uh, in saying what, what it means. So uh, it is saying that if you have uh, two different vertices, so let's say I have two different paths uh, in, inside a network. So let's say one path is coming uh, to uh, like this from from root to here and another path is possibly coming from the from the same uh, root to some other uh, some other node now uh, what it is saying is that if if you if you intersect any information set so let's say you have two different nodes let's say xk and xl right so uh, these are the two points at which this uh, this path these two different paths uh, let's say this path is x and this path is x hat they're intersecting with this uh, information set of player i let's say this is player i's jth uh, information set then we say that this uh, uh, these two different paths choose the same action at this information set i i j if of course k is less than the length of the the path and also l is uh, 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 short l is less than the length of that path and the action that you are picking so for instance if you are uh, at this node uh, which is inside this information set and you are taking this action to go towards the end of this path so going towards uh, the next uh, node in this uh, path then they uh, should be the same so if you are taking the same action because in the same information set you have the same set of actions available to you uh, so uh, if this path so let's say here you are taking uh, a one then it must be the case that here also you are taking a one to go to the next uh, level the next node in, in that uh, in that path then we are going to say that these two uh, um, uh, paths are choosing the same action at an information set of iij this is just uh, formally stating uh, what it means but the but the name itself choice of the same action at an information set is already saying what it is uh, what it is doing now i just want to make a remark that even though in this particular case uh, we are just looking at uh, the the path which is from xk to xk plus one which means that it is the very next uh, node in the same path but it does not always so this uh, uh, this uh, direction 
uh, and uh, the corresponding state uh, statement that xk leading to xk plus 1 does not always necessarily mean that it is just the next node in the same path. So I can have, let's say I have a bunch of uh, nodes in a specific path and I am just talking about, let's say this one is x and this one is y and there are some intermediate nodes uh, in between. So uh, I can say that this action is leading to, so let's say this is the action uh, a prime which is leading to y. So I, I can say that um, the action for player i which which uh, starts so which uh, takes this path from x towards y this will be equal to a prime so that is uh, that is the meaning uh, of uh, of this statement that he, i can have a path which is leading to uh, y from x uh, but that that y need not be the immediate next node so we'll be using this uh, term leading to uh, sometime later in this uh, in this uh, module so therefore it's uh, worth noting what it, it means all right so now we have uh, let let us go to that particular um, condition where we can have this equivalence or at least we can say that uh, you can have a behavioral strategy equivalent of a mixed strategy and uh, that condition is what is known as perfect recall again the name itself somewhat uh, resembling uh, what it means uh, essentially, essentially, the definition rules out all those two cases that we have discussed in the example before, where people, uh, where the player was forgetting which action it has played, and uh, it uh, it was forgetting whether it has played at all or not. So uh, let's look at the first condition. So we'll say that uh, player I has perfect recall. Uh, if uh, uh, these two conditions hold, the first one is that every information set of player i intersects every path from the root to a leaf at most once. So this is uh, this is actually ruling out the second uh, kind of forgetfulness where you, you had. So remember we had an example where uh, these two nodes uh, which were actually uh, connecting uh, a path from from root to uh, root to the leaf and they were connected with a information set so this uh, condition one is actually ruling out uh, that kind of a situation because uh, this information set is intersecting uh, with uh, with the same path multiple times and that is not possible according to one and the second condition says that every two paths that end in the same information set of player i so Again, you can draw the picture that you have two different paths that end in the same information set for player i. So let's say player i has a specific information set i i j and you are, uh, you are looking at these two nodes which are coming via different paths. Uh, and they should, so every two such paths that end in the same information set of player i pass through the same information sets of i. So it might, it should not be the case that, that they pass through different information sets uh, in the same order. So uh, you cannot have uh, arbitrary order. So you, you, you will be sequentially going through the, all the information sets. So if there are other uh, information sets, let's say J prime uh, and more information sets of that player, then all these things, all these two paths will actually be intersecting uh, through all of them in the same sequence. And then, uh, and in every such information set, uh, the two paths choose the same action. So this is the most important thing. So if we, uh, because in the same information set, the set of actions are uh, uh, available to this player, player I is the same, they should also choose the same action. So this is actually ruling out that particular example where uh, the player, the same player were playing uh, both left and right and then it, is, it, it was in a situation where it, it had an information set there. So it means that it is taking, so here there was an information set. So here also player one was playing, here also player one was playing. So here player one uh, was taking two different actions and these two paths were actually leading uh, to the information set where uh, this agent uh, 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 of the same information set of that player. 
So this is ruled out by this second condition because uh, now we are ensuring that it, uh, it not only takes the same sequence of information sets of the same player, it also takes the same action. So this cannot happen that it is taking different actions and leading to the same information set. Okay, so this is this is essentially the de definition. Uh, very carefully ruling out this this kind of forgetfulness situations. So uh, one can write this a little more formally, uh, and uh, this will this will require a little bit of time to understand this uh, this notation. So let let us go over it uh, very slowly. So for every i i j, so this is an information set of player i, and every pair of vertices in that in that information set let's say uh, x and x prime so something similar to this one uh, we'll just uh, um, go back to the to the same diagram back and forth so if the decision vertices of i so note that these are decision vertices of i so those are the places where player i is essentially the player so this sequence of, uh, of nodes are only those uh, places where player i is playing. So therefore, these are only those places where you have play, uh, the in information sets of player i. Uh, there could be some intermediate nodes. So these are not sequential nodes in, this, in the path because there are some more nodes where some other players are playing. But we are just picking out only those points where player i is playing. So let's uh, create the sequence of those uh, uh, those nodes where player i is playing with x i one x i two and finally the the lth uh, node is the uh, node of x that we are comparing with. Mm -hmm. So this is x and this is x prime. So you have two different two different paths uh, where these players are actually playing. So the same player i is playing and uh, this has a uh, if you list them down, there are L such uh, points, capital L such points uh, in this path, which is leading to X. There are uh, K such, uh, so L prime such uh, uh, nodes, which is leading to this other uh, other node X prime. Then, then three conditions should, should get satisfied. The first condition is this, uh, this number L and L prime should be the same. So this is the first condition here. So you cannot have dissimilar number of uh, uh, dissimilar number of points where player i is playing, and you are leading uh, to the same information set for that player. That is not possible. The second condition uh, that should hold is that uh, for if you look at any intermediate point in in this sequence of nodes, so let's say look at l and the corresponding l here then they should belong to the same information set for player i. So uh, we are going sequentially one by one and listing only those points where player i is playing and we have ended up in the uh, in an information set in the same information set for player i. Then if you look back any uh, previous node, so if you are looking at the same uh, uh, numbered node in both these two sequences, they better belong to the same information set for that player. And the last condition is the action leading from L to L plus 1. So here you can see that uh, L and L, L plus 1, they need not be a uh, parent and child relation. So they mi there might be in some intermediate nodes in, be in between. But because this, this is a game tree, so this path which, uh, which is leading from XI to X, uh, XIL to XIL plus 1 will be unique. And the action that is taken by this player at that point for both these uh, nodes, uh, so x i l to x i l plus one and x i prime l to x i prime l plus one, these two actions should be the same. So this is essentially capturing those two uh, conditions that I that I, I have said uh, in in words in the in uh, here. So that is being formally written uh, uh, with the notation that we have used so far. So we'll also call a game to be of uh, perfect recall, the entire game to be uh, having perfect recall and uh, naturally if every player has a perfect recall. So this uh, definition as we have already mentioned, the, the first condition essentially is uh, subsuming the condition of, uh, of that theorem, of the previous theorem that we uh, uh, shown before. 
uh, so so therefore i mean there that condition was necessary and sufficient uh, for every behavioral strategy to have a mixed strategy equivalent mixed strategy now we will show that with this perfect recall uh, definition which is a more strict definition than that because we already have that uh, that condition uh, as well as we have the second condition which is uh, also uh, um, added on top of that so it is a more restrictive definition uh, than the previous one we will see that we have equivalence in both directions so let us look at some examples to understand what this uh, game with perfect recall mean so this example if you look at so there are three players player three is playing first and based on its two actions either one can play or two can play then uh, based on their actions you can come back to one again and based on a player one's action uh, there, there could be such in this kind of situation so why is this example of a uh, this example is that of a game with a perfect recall because if you look at those two statements that uh, uh, you have uh, so let us look at the uh, the text uh, statement so every information set for that player intersects uh, with every path uh, from the root at most once so there is no such as a situation where the same information set is uh, interacting um, uh, intersecting with the same uh, path from the root uh, multiple uh, places and the second condition was that there were two paths that end in, end in the same information set they will pass through the same information sets of that same player uh, in the same order and in every such information set uh, these two paths choose the same action so of course this second part we cannot verify because there is only one uh, one situation so there is no previous uh, information set of either one or two but at least we can see that the first condition is getting satisfied and also the second condition is sort of vacuously satisfied but if we look at the so modify the game uh, uh, slightly by uh, uh, by introducing this player so instead of player three now player one is actually making the first move then this is certainly violating the condition that uh, it is uh, it is not taking the same action so you see that it is taking two different actions but uh, uh, if you look at this nodes uh, let's say this is x and x prime uh, uh, and uh, if you look at the path starting from the root to this node uh, in the previous information set of the same player which is this uh, the the player was taking two different actions one is taking this action the another was uh, taking a different action uh, to reach to these two different nodes in some sense uh, as we have uh, showed in the previous example as well this uh, player player one is actually forgetting which action it has played so that is why it is in this information set it is forgetting what action it has picked in its in its previous round and that is not allowed according to the definition of perfect recall so let us also look at what are the uh, some implications of perfect recall uh, so the uh, the perfect recall definition will also give rise to certain uh, certain equal equality in in this uh, strategy sets so let's uh, define uh, this one so let's say si prime si star of x be the set of pure strategies of player i at which uh, he chooses the actions leading to x so there might be multiple uh, multiple actions so let's say we are at a specific uh, node x at some some uh, some node in this game tree and there are maybe uh, multiple uh, action uh, multiple information sets uh, which are actually leading to this x so maybe this this path and then there are there are other information sets of of the same player so let's say pi uh, one p uh, i i two and so on so this is i i j for instance and if you look at all these if you collect together all the actions that has actually uh, uh, taken has been taken by this player i to reach to this uh, uh, node x that those collection of all those actions uh, or the strategies we will we'll put as uh, si star of x so these are the set of pure strategies of player i at which it chooses the action leading to x uh, that is the intersections of this uh, of the members of si with the path from root to x 
So then, then we have this theorem. It says that if uh, I is a player with perfect recall and X and X prime are two vertices in the same information set of I. So now X and X prime, let us assume that it is also uh, a member of some information set for player I. Then it must be the case that the uh, the corresponding sets, uh, the corresponding sets that we that we have just defined for these two nodes X and X prime. Uh, should also be the same. So this conclusion essentially is a result of uh, of that uh, condition that it it, uh, it should come from the same sequence of information sets, and uh, you will you will take the same actions at those information sets. So uh, collecting all these points together, we can actually now uh, state the the theorem, which is essentially a sufficiency theorem uh, due to Kuhn in 1957. So in every uh, imperfect information extensive form game, if I is a player with a perfect recall, then for every mixed strategy of player I, there exists a behavioral strategy. So of course, the converse is already true because uh, in the game of perfect recall already uh, considers the, um, the necessary and sufficient condition where behavioral strategy has a equivalent mixed strategy. Uh, that direction is uh, if and only if, though here it is just a, a sufficient condition. So together we can say uh, it is safe to have a, a game with a perfect recall where we can use behavioral strategy and the uh, mixed strategy interchangeably. So I'm not going to prove this. This is straight from the book of uh, Mashler and uh, this theorem 6.15 can be can be read in order to find the uh, find the corresponding proof. The proof essentially, uh, let me give you the uh, intuition. It's a constructive proof. It starts with a mixed strategy and essentially constructs the behavioral strategy such that the probabilities of reaching a leaf, uh, reaching every leaf node are the same. And this argument essentially uses the fact that we have defined the definitions of perfect recall uh, that I mean, such kind of a construction is always possible because it's a game of a perfect recall.